Kehinde Wiley has made a name for himself for his naturalistic, brightly colored portraits of young black men, often with dramatic flowery backgrounds. With black masculinity often framed as synonymous with fear and violence in the USA, his generous and vibrant portraits challenge viewers' preconceptions of their subjects. Wiley brings young black men and people of color into the galleries and museums they are so woefully underrepresented in. In this piece, he depicts a young black boy he encountered on the streets of Brazil and gives him the same importance and attention to detail as any history portrait. Wiley talks about portraiture and the field of power, referring to the way that painted portraits of people indicate that they are powerful, but also that portraits hold the potential to give power to those who are painted in this way, turning traditional portrait painting upside down. He reuses recognizable art history images and tropes like in this piece, re-envisioning Napoleon as his way of critiquing art historical norms. It was only five years ago that Wiley became the first black artist commissioned to paint a U.S. president. This portrait is extremely important in that it does something very different from traditional presidential portraits. It complicates the power of relations between the sitter, the artist, and the viewer. Portraits like this allow the artist to portray the president as more than a symbol of democracy, but a complete human. This then enables the viewer to be captivated by more than one side of the person. There is a life that cannot be ignored in this portrait. That same life and groundbreaking representation is seen throughout all of Kehinde Wiley's paintings. I suggest you go check out some more. See you next time.